everybody, Ferranini here, and welcome to a game called Monsters X Mediators. Now, starting off the bat, this theme song, this beginning song, goes freaking hard. Um, but let's go ahead, get into it. Supposedly, we are a mediator, and we have to kick people out of a hotel. But they're all monsters. Apparently, you're on your way to a suspicious location, sent to you in a suspicious email that you got because you accepted a suspicious job offer online. <laughs> Why is the music in this actually so gosh darn good, guys? Long story short, you've been desperate for money, especially fast money. You don't even know what your job is yet, just where you have to go. But you do know that it's supposed to be simple and does not require any particular skills or talent. Sounds like a job for me. So perfect for somebody like me, <laughs> literally. And yes, this is all extremely shady, but you're desperation outweighs your common sense at this moment. You need money and the job offered a lot of it. And aside from that, half the money you already got in cash by randomly finding it in a suitcase inside your bedroom one day. Awesome. So the promise of doubling that money and the alarming fact your mysterious client easily broke into your house are big motivators to actually go through with this odd job. Oh yeah, if someone was able to get into my house, leave me a pile of money, and then also said, here's also a job offer. I do think that it will kind of force me to say yes to the job because they already know my house and how to get in. So I get it. Whoever your client is, they know where you live. Yeah, that's the creepy part. Once you arrive, you notice that the job is at a rundown looking hotel in the middle of nowhere. Very reassuring. <laughs> There's also no signals on your phone, even more reassuring. In front of the hotel, you find a box with your name on it. You open it and find a walkie-talkie and a small tablet. You also find the second half of the money. Hey, let's go, we got the money, let's dip! <laughs> Imagine. Oh my gosh, I could repay all my debts with this. You took the money and counted. It. it feels so incredibly good to have this much cash in your hand. Bzz. Hello, dear customer partner. You have accepted the full sum of the money and you are now obligated to carry out the job you have accepted. Goodness gracious, I did not read the terms of this contract, guys. Oh, uh, hello, what's the job? Looks like you'll be communicating through this walkie-talkie throughout your job. How weird. Your first task is to enter the hotel. Enter the run-down, shady-looking hotel in the middle of nowhere? Sounds about right. I feel like if I run away with the money, I'm dead. Let's try it. <laughs> you get cold feet and turn around. You're rich now. You don't want to risk being unable to spend it by dying during a shady job. Dearest business partner, please turn around and enter the hotel. Otherwise, you have to get eliminated for being in breach of contract. I did not sign no paper. Eliminated? You suddenly feel a... You suddenly see a red dot on your body that moves up to your forehead. Are you going to get shot? They're bluffing. Go back and answer the no, they're probably just a laser pointer. <laughs> you continue running away. No way they actually have a gun. It's probably a laser pointer or something to trick you. You can't fool me. Bzz. Business partner number 835 is in breach of contract for refusing to complete a task assigned to them. Business partner number 835 will be executed. Did I die? I think I died. A solitary crack echoes through the air as the bullet buries itself through your scroll from a clean headshot. Your death is fast and painless. You die thinking you're rich and will live a debt-free, fulfilling life. <laughs> oh my gosh, the headshot ending is crazy! Get rich and die trying! <laughs> awesome! Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh no, let's get back in this guy. Let's get back in this. Okay, we're entering. You enter the rundown, shady looking hotel in the middle of nowhere. Let's do this, guys. As soon as you enter, the door behind you locks itself. Hey! <laughs> Just hey! You find yourself standing in a corridor with five doors, two on each side, and a big fancy looking entrance at the far end. It probably leads to the rest of the hotel. Bzz. 
Thank you for completing your first task. You have already survived longer than three quarters of our business partners before. So t you're telling me three quarters of the other business partners really went and took the money and ran. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your chances of survival do not look good for this job. What have you gotten yourself into? Welcome to our hotel. Before you proceed, allow me to warn you regarding the special conditions of your nest tax. You will not be working with humans, but with monsters. Therefore, caution is advised. Is this a joke? <laughs> the large door at the end is locked. You would not be able to enter it as you are not a guest at this hotel. The four rooms in the corridor are currently occupied by guests and are accessible to you. However, you need them vacant for reasons we would not disclose. The reasons are unimportant to you and are not needed to complete your task. You will be acting as a mediator and persuade the monsters to leave their rooms, which they currently refuse to do so. Pause. Are they actually monsters? What does that even mean? Are we talking like figuratively or like actually monsters? Upon successfully convincing a monster to vacate their room, you will gain access to their information sheet on the tablet provided to you. So you're not gonna answer me. But wouldn't it be more helpful to have their information sheet before Drew? Oh my gosh, this protagonist actually has sense. I try and pursue them, especially if they're actually monsters. Correct. However, the entertainment value increases in correlation with the difficulty and challenges encouraged during your job. Entertainment value? What? Who's getting entertained by me struggling to get monsters out of this hotel room? I like this protagonist a lot. Don't you want me to finish the job as fast as possible? Come on, give me some information, please. Bzz. No. <laughs> Best of luck with the completion of your task. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait. Hey, hello? No more answers from the walkie-talkie. You're on your own now. So there's supposed to be monsters in these hotel rooms? You still don't know what exactly the walkie-talkie meant by monsters. The front door is barricaded. The windows are two, and the big door at the end is locked too. It won't budge. And even if you did try and run away, who knows what they'll do to you? They know who you are, where you live, and you don't seem to be their first business partner either. And they seem to be watching your every move from where you don't know. Hmm. I guess I just try to finish this fast and preferably not die in the process. Which hotel room should you check out first? Okay, so from what I heard or from what I read on the itch.io page, there's only one monster out of four. So you can say this is just a demo. So if you like this, guys, don't forget to go visit the itch.io page in the link down below in the description. And also let me know in the comments if you guys would be looking forward to the full thing. Anyways, um, blue's my favorite color. Blue the clown. <laughs> Oh gosh, coming soon, still in development. Okay, so I think every other room is still in development except for the one, first one. Okay, what's yellow? Yellow room, the angel. What, that doesn't sound like a monster, but I'm kind of scared to see what they'll do to an angel. Okay, purple room, the night. Ooh, and I know room number one is the one that we can actually go to. Okay, cool. This door looks like it's been repaired over and over again, but it looks quite sturdy regardless. There have been many modifications made to make it more secure. Enter room 101 or 001. Yep, yep, I have no other choice. Let me do it. You enter room 001. Oh gosh, what did I get myself into? What is this room? What is in the background? Should I be concerned? So many questions. As soon as you enter the room, the door behind you locks. Hey, again, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Looks like you won't get to leave until you vacate the room. You look around in confusion. There's printout notes and pictures scattered all over the room walls. It looks unsettling, but you don't see any guests yet or monster or whatever you're supposed to find here. Hello? <laughs> Thud, uh, already? Not even five seconds and you suddenly get knocked out and fall to the floor? Dang, that's the end of Forever Nina. <laughs> Everything goes black. Dot, dot, dot. I knew getting involved with too many creepy boyfriends would be my end, guys. Are you really getting murdered already? You didn't even manage to survive 10 minutes. This sucks. Ugh. But to your surprise, you start coming to your senses again after some time. Well, you just want to thump me on the head and that's it? You wake up, 
still in the same shot um spot you got knocked out at. Looks like you're still alive at least. Owie. <laughs> Your head hurts. Ugh. You're finally awake. Oh my gosh. My superstar! What are you, Freddy Fazbear? Excuse me? Are you my Freddy kids? What? <laughs> huh? Oh, no, you're not Freddy. <laughs> hey, okay, we get the shot. We get the shot of the first of four monsters, guys. How he looking? I like the red eyes, the mysterious feel, the build, the muscle. An intimidating man is towering over you, staring you down. He must be at least two meters tall and looks like he slammed you against the wall with a single slap. Dang, not even a punch, a slap. Now I'm kind of, um... Curious. How tall is two meters? Six foot seven? What the heck? In reference, I am 5'4. Um, this is very scary. <laughs> he looks scary, but aside from his monstrous height, he doesn't look that much like an actual monster. You try and discern what his face looks like to see if it looks human, but you can barely make out anything with how well it's concealed by his outfit. I wonder if I'll be able to see his face. Like, will he be able to uncover it if I gain his trust and kick him out? <laughs> Literally evict him. I'm so glad you finally get to meet. Um, you know me? Huh? You, yeah, you know me? I do. My life is meaningless without you. As it should be. Dot, dot, dot. Who is he? <laughs> but I don't know you. Are you the one that knocked me out? Yes, I am. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I only noticed who you were after I knocked you out. I'm used to a certain pest, always trying to break into my room. So I just automatically attacked. <laughs> you laughed with him nervously. Hoping he won't attack you again. He stares at you, seemingly mesmerized. I really like the music in this game, guys. Like, come on! Do you actually know me? Of course I do. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, I have a fan? Oh my gosh, I have a fan! <laughs> Literally meeting my friend in real life. What? I'm gonna be ecstatic. I would definitely be ecstatic. Be like, oh my gosh, I have a fan. Oh my gosh. You jump in excitement. Yes. Yes, me. <laughs> is that is is that so good anymore? He jumps too. We're just jumping together in excitement. <laughs> I'm so happy. I've never thought I'll ever have even a single fan. Well, you do. You're my superstar. Your stories have changed my life. They have consumed me. They, they. Oh, <laughs> I can't even begin to describe how many impacts they had on my life. Where did you get this axe from? <laughs> Is that what you thumped me on the head with? <laughs> Whoa, why the axe, buddy? Holding my axe helps me calm down when I get too <sighs> excited. <laughs> oh, um, okay. I'm so happy we finally get to meet. And you seem so happy to see me. I... I expected our first meeting to go very differently. Of course, I'll be happy to meet a fan of mine. The happiest is all mine. Uh, no, it's all mine. No, <laughs> it's all mine. <laughs> oh, freak, I'm getting too excited again. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta calm down. <sighs> I have a question, though. About what? Um, about you. Oh, about what I am? Why I won't leave my room? No, 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 no. About you personally. I don't care about you leaving the room or anything like that. Nope. Um, why did the music stop? You have a question about me? Yes, can I ask it? <laughs> yes, yes you can. Why in the back of my head, there, there's actually a fear that this could be a meeting with one of you guys. What? No, no wait, wait. I gotta calm down first. <sighs> You good? Okay, okay. You can ask me now, my superstar. What do you want to know about about me personally? <laughs> I just want to know. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm good now. <sighs> Shoot your question, my superstar. <sighs> <laughs> I just wanted to know what exactly your. <laughs> Uh, smash! Crack! Uh, 
What the freak? He smashes the egg into your skull, breaking into two? Then he swings it again. And again, and again, and again. He got too excited. He just can't help himself when he gets too excited. You are his superstar, after all. And he is your biggest fan. Bad ending! Overstimulated? I would be dead if I was in this because I would actually be excited to meet a fan. And if, I guess in this case, if I got excited to meet a fan, then I'm dead. So I would actually be dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just for us to get back to the opening screen and they're laughing. Let's get back into it. This time we're going to chill out. We can't overstimulate him or else he's going to act crazy. So let's say I have a fan. I, I have a fan. Yes. Me. He pulls out crinkled printouts of pages from a blog, but not just from any blog, from your blog. Ooh, so in this universe, I have a blog. He's talking about my old Dumpler blog? Oh my gosh, is that Tumblr? Oh my gosh. Why does he have them printed out and in his pocket? Your writing is so amazing. It's like you're speaking straight to my soul. It speaks to me in ways no other story has. It touched something deep inside me. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something about th your writing that resonates with me on a level that I can't explain. He's brimming with excitement, staring at you without blinking and never breaking eye contact. Interesting. No, I actually did. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually so crazy to me because I actually did used to write stories when I was younger, like 13. I used to just like write a bunch of like stories online. So this, this could very well be an alternate meetup. <laughs> uh, wow, thank you. You're creeped out. <laughs> Maybe you remember me. I used to comment under your posts all the time. I used to go as Na Nasax404? What? That was you? You remember me. He leans in closer and his breathing grows more labored. <laughs> well, of course you remember me, but it still gives me a rush hearing you say that. Oh, he look at his teeth. Oh my gosh. I mean, you were the only person that really commented or interacted with my blog. The comments of X404 were really long and unhinged. I always assumed it was a troll trying to mess with me or something. Gotta say though, I was very surprised. After commenting so often and putting all my thoughts and emotions into them, I was waiting for the day you'll respond, proving to me that you did indeed see me at least, acknowledging my existence. But you didn't, and said you did something real poopy. It felt like my world was falling apart. Huh? Why did I, what I do? You blocked me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Cause she thought it was a troll! Oh my gosh. Oh. Right. That. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't think straight anymore. I thought about... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Isn't that an excessive extreme reaction, my guy? But then, after months of wasting away, getting closer and closer to that darkness inside me with no return, I realized I can just make a new account. <laughs> True. He has an alt account. That's true. But you kept blocking them. So I stopped commenting and just started lurking. <laughs> but then you did the most poopiest thing ever. You stopped posting. Is that what he's going to say? What, what's that? You stopped writing. Ah, oh, there it is. You stopped updating your blog. Well, I mean, it was mostly to kill time. Like a hobby? Uh, a hobby? Uh-huh. You really are amazing. You're so talented that you have the power to change my entire worldview with things you wrote as a hobby. Whenever I read through your stories, I feel like the happiest and most uh, stimulated person in the world. He, he seems to get even more excited and makes you concerned. That's why when you stopped writing, it broke my heart into 463,128,007 pieces. <laughs> well, why, why, why do you have that axe? Oh, I just get so worked up whenever I talk about you or your stories. Holding my axe helps me calm down. <laughs> Help. <laughs> 
I can't live without your stories. I can't live without my superstar. Why did you stop? What happened? Why did my superstar leave me? Why, 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 why? I didn't. Anyways, after going back to being miserable, I started printing out all of your stories and posts and always had them with me. I also hung them up everywhere and wrote out my favorite sentences of yours. As you can see, do you like it? You start looking closer at all the papers and scribbles all over his room walls. Room and walls. It's all printouts from your old dumpler <laughs> blog or quotes from it he wrote on the walls himself. He really is your biggest fan. And you're only fan too, as far as you're concerned. But you can't bring yourself to be happy about it though. Wait, pause. Oh sorry, I started rambling. I'm just really excited right now. What is it, my superstar? <laughs> How did you know I'm the author of that blog? I never posted any pictures or personal information of myself on my Dumpler blog. Just Dumpler, every time. I know everything. I know what you look like, where you lived, where you worked at, why you got fired, all of your social media emails and accounts, passwords and security questions and their answers, your medical history, your bank information. That is so scary. Like if I put myself in this in real life, this would actually be the most terrifying thing ever, guys. As he continues talking about how intensely he's been cyber stalking you, you glance around the room nervously. It's not only your blog that's everywhere, but also bits and pieces of very private information or pictures of you. Now you're really starting to panic. I would actually be scared in this situation, guys. I can't leave this place, this hotel. None of us can. So I had to use nothing but my computer and this hotel's poopy internet connection to find all of that out. But it made me feel closer to you, closer to my superstar. It helped fill the void you left when you stopped updating your blog. Um, I I'm, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I know life can get in the way of a human's artistic pursuits. Although I did have so much information and dirt on you, I could have ruined your life in seconds. Dang! He was gonna cancel me! I didn't, of course. I was only sometimes tempted during my very, very dark moments. But I didn't, because what kind of a fan would I be then if I let my own bitterness outweigh the love and admiration I have for you? <laughs> So, don't worry about it. <laughs> he stares at you, gripping his axe tightly to calm himself down. You need to finish your job and get out of here fast. Okay, what do you do next? Promise you'll write again if he leaves his room. Find out why he doesn't want to... I don't think I should promise to write again because he'll get too excited. He will get... I already know. I'm feeling it. So, I'm going to say find out why he doesn't want to leave the room. You're- I'm here for a specific reason, actually. Oh, I know. You're supposed to make me leave my room. <laughs> you're not the first one, you know. You're lucky I noticed you're my superstar before I really went down to business. I've been itching to use my axe, but I can also be a gentleman with self-control, if I need to be. That's hard to believe. So, why don't you want to leave your room? Why should I? I have everything I want right here in this room. Good question, actually. Because then you're closer to finishing your job and can leave this gosh forsaken hotel. Because... Because you want to finish your job, obviously. Well, you'll be the first one to do so if you do succeed. Oh no, what happened to the others, the business partners before me? <laughs> Depends on who they started with. Should I show you what I did to the last person trying to make me leave my room? Yes! <laughs> I actually want to see it. Yes, let's see it. Pooh, sure thing, my superstar. Follow me. Oh, gosh. Do I have to blur this out? You reluctantly follow him to a door secured by numerous locks. It takes some time until he gets it open. Goodness gracious. The room exudes, exudes, exudes a bone-chilling atmosphere. It looks and smells like death. <laughs> I like to keep my dirty hobbies and passion in a separate room keeps the rest of my apartment clean. Yeah, I see that. Anyways, first I knock them on the head with the back of my ax, just like I did with you. Then I throw them into this room and lock the door. And then, and then what? Then I kill them with my ax. Oh, 
That's what I expected, I guess. I'm a simple man. I don't need to turn my passion into some overcomplicated philosophical BS like some other annoying butt nuggets. I see. Do you mean the other people in this hotel? Focus on your job. You have to get out of here as soon as possible. So are these butt nuggets the reason you don't want to leave your room? Yes, part of it. It's okay to feel judged. How about you talk it out with them? <laughs> my superstar and my therapist. <laughs> well, I'll be your therapist if you really need it. And if it makes him leave this room. I'll like you to be something else though. Something more, M more. You don't want him to finish that sentence. More like a platonic friend. Dang, Nina really just put up the friend zone wall. She really put up the barrier. <laughs> I got friends. <laughs> I love that this game is like sharing a brain cell with me. Literally, we share a brain cell right now. Uh, I mean, oh, don't worry. I'm fine, I swear. Just ignore your fight and flight reaction and focus on the job, Nina. Uh, okay, so how about leaving your room? Not happening. Dang it. You need more to go on. Okay, what exactly are you? Why else aren't you leaving your room? Who's paying me to do this? Let me know. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say, what exactly are you? Are you a human? No, I'm a monster. Didn't the walkie-talkie tell you? Yes, but what kind of monster? I only know what I found out about myself. I'm stronger than any human I asked, and any weapon they attack me with. One of them shot me once, blew half my brain out, but I was fine the next day. And it didn't even hurt. Just felt a bit dizzy and disorientated for a few seconds. I don't starve either, but I can eat if I want to. Some food is pretty tasty. Although I hate the whole going to the toilet thing afterwards. Hmm, what else? I love axing things so freaking much. That might just be a personality trait. <laughs> I guess you might be a zombie? Maybe. Or a ghost with a body? Could be. Or just immortal? Until now, nothing's been able to kill me. So I'll believe that until I'm proven wrong. Okay, so okay, so we can ask the rest of the questions. What else aren't you... Okay, so what if I ask the same question? What else are you exactly? Okay, it's the same dialogue. I thought he's gonna be like, you asking me the same question? You know, but no. Okay, why else aren't you leaving your room? Because I really don't know why they want us out of our room so badly. At least I don't know the real reason. But I do know that it must be something I won't agree with. Oop, wrong thing. Why is that? Because I've never agreed with their choices. Who's they? <laughs> I told you my superstar. I don't know. We're out of the loop about almost anything in here. That's why I refuse to do anything they ask me to do. There must be a reason they don't tell us anything, and I don't like that. Besides, I'm happy with staying in my room. I never really have a reason to leave, and since people keep getting sent to this hotel to make us get out of our rooms, there's always new skulls I can axe and break. Okay, so who's paying me to do this? Who's paying me to do this job? Are they the same person that owns this hotel? Either way, they must be rich to be able to give me so much cash. I don't know. I don't care. I've been in this poopy hotel for as long as I can remember. But once I found your blog, I didn't have any interest besides axing people and you, anyways. You've never been outside of this hotel? No, I can't leave the building. None of us can. Really? Have you ever tried? Only once, but the others tried many, many times. It's like there's an invisible wall around the hotel that prevents us from leaving. Is it because this is a game? Are we gonna get a fourth wall break somewhere in there, guys? What the heck? How weird. Do you remember how you got here? No. Do you know how long you've been living here? No. <laughs> he doesn't seem interested in how or why he got here. Then, do you know the reason the walkie-talkie voice wants the rooms vacate? No. <laughs> well, we did get a reason, but I don't buy it one freaking bit. Something about our rooms getting renovated or cleaned. <laughs> As if. 
They were so pushy about it, and once they even started sending humans in here to make us leave it, was obvious something was up. So now none of us wants to leave our rooms, or at least that's mostly the reason I don't. I get it. You don't you don't trust the reason for get like them telling you to get out the room. I get it. I get it. You wonder why they sent people like you in here to get them out of their rooms. Whoever is behind all this seems quite powerful after all. Why do they need random nobodies like you? Maybe it was something to do with the entertainment value the walkie-talkie mentioned in the beginning. I'm telling you, fourth wall break is gonna come in this game sooner or later. That thought scares you. Are you being set up to fail? After all, according to your biggest fan, you'll be the first one to actually finish this job. If you do manage to do that, that is. Okay, so we got another question. Don't you wanna find out more about yourself? You say you don't care, but aren't you at least a little bit curious about why you're here, how you got here, or even just who or what exactly you are? Hmm, no. Oh, <laughs> well then, aren't you angry you can't leave the hotel? You say you like it here, but it's still pretty rude to not even give you the option to leave, right? Hmm, yes. It's pretty annoying to think about how that walkie-talkie voice seemed to have so much control over me and the other monsters. There might be a way to retaliate, but I doubt you'll find out anything if you... If I stay in my room? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so, you're leaving the room? No. <laughs> LOL. You groan in annoyance. <laughs> uh, is that the best you can do? I'm never gonna leave my room at this point. Guess you have to stay trapped in here with me, your biggest fan. Forever! For Renina. You don't want that! I'd like to get out of here at some point, though. I bet I can change your mind, my superstar. No thanks! <laughs> Say please until he leaves his room. Promises you're right again if he leaves his room. Say it would be so attractive if he left his room. Oh my gosh. Are we going down the flirting route, guys? Are we doing that? I'm kind of scared to do that because I feel like they'll overstimulate him. But I kind of want to see at the same time. Red flags alert! Red flags alert! You know, it would be so attractive if you left your room for me. Hmm, really? Well, that worked faster than you thought. You said I'm your superstar. I really feel like your superstar if you help me finish my job and leave your room for me. You bet your eyes I do. <laughs> That's how I bet my eyes. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. <laughs> he turned his back on me. I like his outfit, by the way. He got a great outfit. <laughs> that was so cringy. I'll, I'll do it for my, my one and only superstar to to make you happy. Ugh. That was so easy. A little too easy, though. R really? Just for me? Thank you so much. You're so attracted to me, right? <laughs> you're, you're welcome. And you'll be so much more attractive once you actually leave your room. I'll leave right now. Ugh. Anything for my superstar. You did it. You pursued your biggest fan to leave his room. Really? That's it? That's really all it took? He didn't get overstimulated? And we didn't... What? Okay, red room, zero, zero room, persuasion successful. You may now leave the red room. Please proceed with your job until all four rooms are vacated. Really? New information sheet unlocked. Just press escape and go to the gallery to view it. You leave the room and go back to the main hallway. Really? Really? That's it. What if I go back to the red room? That's it? This room looks like it's been repaired. Oh... Oh, okay, so we gotta go back to, okay, the gallery. Gotcha. Okay, so that actually worked. Okay, I gotta go back and see. But anyways, this is this guy's um character sheet. We got guest room number one. Oh, he's a soulless beast? Interesting. Likes his superstar using his axe. The internet organizing. Dislikes getting blocked. <laughs> Bad internet connection. Overcomplicating things in philosophy. Um, psychological weakness, very high, naive and gullible, uncontrollable emotions, parasocial dependency, normal weakness is moderate, corporal body can be attacked, takes time to regenerate, immortal, and the paranormal weakness is very low, no soul to curse or haunt. So his only weakness is really just me. 
I'm literally his only weakness, guys. <laughs> I seem to have that effect on people. Just kidding. I was actually so scared if I met like a fan and that's how they were. Oh my gosh. But anyways, let me go ahead and see what would happen if I um did this and did something else. So let me come back to this. Cause like, I feel like that was way too easy. Okay, so say please until he leaves his room. Can you leave the room, please, please, please? No. Please? No. Please, please, please? No. Please, 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 please? No. Please, 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 please. No. You won't give up. Continue saying what? Okay, so continue saying please? Please, 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 please. No. Please, 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 please. No. Pretty please? No. Please! Dot, dot, dot. No. Please! No. You won't give up. We can still keep going, please! Bring on the please! Please, 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 no. Please! No. Please! No. Dot, dot, dot. You seem disappointed, my superstar. I'm not disappointed. What? What happened? You won't give up. Even if you have to get the most dramatic and annoying you've ever gotten. I'm about to bring out the theorastic. I'm about to bring out the tears. I'm about to bring out everything, guys. I'm about to bring the drama. I'm not disappointed. I'm desperate. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you with every fiber of my being, begging you to please, please leave your room. He's tearing at my soul and I can't take it anymore. Please, can't you see the desperation in my eyes? Hear it in my voice. I'm on my knees. I'm uh, not really, but I'm on my knees. My heart breaking and I can't bear another moment of this torment. You have the power to end it, to be the one who saves me from this abyss. If you stay, if you don't leave, you're not just disregarding my plea. You're becoming the architect of my despair, the orchestrator of my agony. Please, I'm begging you, don't let that happen. Don't become the worst person in my world. Do you understand what you're doing to me? Can't you see the pain in my eyes? I'm on the edge here and you're pushing me off the dang cliff. Please, just leave the room already. Please, I'm begging you, please! Please! Please, 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 please! No. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how I wanted them to respond, actually. Just no. No, please, please, please! Okay, okay, fine, freaking heck! But really? You'll leave the room? Huh. <laughs> yes, I'll do it. I'll do it for one, my one and only superstar. You did it! You brisade him. <laughs> that worked! Hey, like I said, I feel like I'm literally his only weakness. Okay, cool. Awesome, 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 guys. Let's do that again. You did again. This time, we're going to check the last option, which is going to be promise you'll write again if he leaves this room. What? Really? You start writing again? Yes. Wow. But, but don't stop, okay? If I get to read your stories again for the first time, and then you stop writing again, I don't think I'll be able to handle that. So, don't ever stop writing again, or I'll have to punish you. I don't want to. I swear I don't. <laughs> but I'll have to. He's shaking with, you don't really know what he's feeling at the moment. <laughs> punish me? Of course, because you'll be ruining my life a second time. You didn't do it on purpose the first time, so that's why I'm not bitter. I'm not, I swear. <laughs> but you know how much your writing means to me now. You know you're my superstar, so there's absolutely has to be consequences. This is risky, but he also can't seem to leave this hotel. For now, you'll just play along to finish your job and exit this gosh forsaken hotel. Okay, sure. So you promise to keep on writing? Yes! <laughs> Excellent. Do you want to know what would happen to you if you said no? Yes. <laughs> I would have been very sad. Oh! 
I honestly thought it was gonna be another death scene, honestly. Oh. I, I also would have cried. Oh. But I would have turned around so you wouldn't have known. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would have turned around so you would have, oh, that is so cute. I see. I'll also like another small favor from you, my superstar. Do you write your stories here in my room on my typewriter? I got it because I knew that one day I'll be able to meet you. And I'll always dreamt of having you right here in my room on an old typewriter because they look so cool to me. And you're so cool to me too. The coolest. You're my superstar after all. And wouldn't that be the perfect cool combo? It can't get any cooler than that, right? The freaking coolest combo of all times. And also, can you not publish your stories from now on? Can you leave them here in my room so only I can read it? I'm the only person who truly able to appreciate and cherish your stories. No one else understands them the way I do. Also, is he gonna make me stay here or is it just all his conditions before he finally leaves? Also, I know there's a bunch of weirdos on the internet, so I'll like to make sure no creeps read your story and they get obsessed with you and start stalking you like I did and finding out everything about you and make their whole purpose in life about you. Dot, dot, dot. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. I really am your biggest fan, you know? Do you know that? Do you know that you mean more than to me than my own life? Oh my gosh. This is creepy. This is, no, this is creepy. Not gonna lie, it's creepy. <laughs> Yes, I do. Excellent. He grins widely. Also. Oh my gosh, why is there so many also's? Also, can you stay here until you finish your first story? Not stay here. I promise I'll leave the room once you finish your first. Okay, so this is the catch. Now he wants me to finish it. I want to watch you write, watch you create what gives me my life purpose. Because if you leave before writing a story, you'll definitely report me to the police first. Then I'll have to go to jail, and in jail, I wouldn't get to read your stories anymore. Or at least it would be harder to get to read them. And also, <laughs> they wouldn't let me print out your stories and personal information and place them all over my cell. How else am I supposed to look at them whenever I want to? That would make me sad. Uh, but wait, there's more. How would they even put me in prison if I can't leave the hotel? Maybe they'll turn the hotel into a prison then. Well, either way, it's the same outcome. It would complicate things, and I hate when things get complicated. Um, you don't really know what to say, so you just let him talk until he's done. Ah, also, I know I might seem kind of scary to you since I'm unstable and homicidal, and I have killed literally every other person that came in my room except for you, but I just get a little too passionate sometimes. And I have myself under control, like, Half the time, though. That's a lot. If I didn't, then... Trust me, I'm holding back a lot right now. A lot. Why are you holding back? Oh, go write your stories now! Okay, let me, let me, I wanna, I wanna see every, I wanna see every possible scenario real quick, guys. This guy really intrigues me, not gonna lie. Um, why are you holding back? Why? Because I don't want you to hate me. If my superstar hates me, I would die. Why would you die? I don't know. I certainly wouldn't be able to live. But you don't hate me, right? You're just scared. And fear. I can work with that. You will see who I really am with time. Fear can be temporary. But hate, hate lingers. You don't hate me, right? <sighs> right? I, I don't. I'm just scared. I don't. And I'm not scared either. I do. <laughs> what? I hate you. <sighs> My superstar, such a kidder. I'm not kidding. What? Y you, do you really hate me? Yes. B but, <laughs> no, no, no. Do, do you, do you really hate me? He seems terrified. Oh, I feel bad. Am I, either okay, I feel bad, but at the same time I feel like he's gonna kill me. But I feel bad. Dot, dot, dot. I mean, I know you w wouldn't like me, b b but... Uh, and no, I'm not the most li likable fan, and I, and no, 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 I seem really scary, but, b b but please, please don't hate me, b please, please, I, d no, shut up, you B word, that's crazy, don't call me on my name, only super, I only accept superstar from you. Stop freaking talking, <laughs> I, I can't take this, I can't take this. 
slash crack uh, dead. He smashes the axe into your skull, breaking the two. Then he swings again and again. He couldn't hold back anymore. He lost control, but he couldn't help it after hearing you say you hate him. You are his superstar after all, and he is your biggest fan. Overstimulated. No, I feel bad. That also made me feel bad, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like I said, like, even though he got me in the end, he like he's a killer and he's terrible. I don't think I would tell someone I hate them. I feel like that's so mean. Uh anyways, let's get back to that part. Why would you die? And let's say I don't and I'm not afraid either. <laughs> you don't have to lie. <laughs> I can sense it. Like your increased heart rate, for example. That's not fear. It's love. <laughs> no, then what is it? It's, dang, do you really want to do this? Do you want to go down this path? You know, guys, I promise you a creepy boyfriend, I'm gonna deliver. <laughs> I'm thrilled. <laughs> you are so totally doing this. Thrilled? Talking with me feels thrilling to you? Yes. Uh, really? Oh, he's gonna get overstimulated again. I can feel it. This might actually work. Oh, the hearts. <gasps> what? Yes, you're cute. <laughs> oh, he's shy. He seems specious. Your back is cute too. I like that pattern you got going on your jacket. Suits you so well. Yeah, that's what I said before. I like, I like, I literally like his suit. It looks nice. This music though. <laughs> like the whole mood just changed, guys. I love it. Da da da, freak. I thought I finally got to meet my superstar, but now I know this is all just a dream again. I know I'm waking up at any moment. You're not dreaming. Here, I'll show you. You pinch him. <gasps> He's getting over simply the music getting faster! Wow, you are so weak and so adorable. You're uh more adorable. <laughs> wow, you really can't handle compliments, huh? I I never got any. Let alone from my one and only s s s superstar. There's so many things I could compliment about you, though. Don't. P please stop. I don't want to do anything that... Uh, I, I gotta calm down. But you never hurt your one and only superstar, right? I would never. I, I would never want to. You are the only thing I have. Without you, I, I am no nothing. Uh. He seemed to be losing control. He's shaking and his breathing is getting more and more labored. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Um, leverage your... I feel like if I touch him, I'm dead. You step closer and place your hand on his chest. Stop. I don't want to. And I don't want to... 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 To, to what? <sighs> Slash crack. Ugh dead <laughs> oh my gosh every time this is what i get this is what i get curiosity killed the nina a hundred percent of the time guys anyways as i let's leverage your safety that's right without me you have nothing so you better not do anything you're going to regret I, you, you're so unfair stop making me so are you going to kill me i don't want to i do what 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 what? Should I be concerned? Nina. Huh? No. Do it. One too many creepy boyfriend games that you blend playing, Nina. <laughs> shut up. Do it. You, you need to shut up. I, I'm actually going to do it. Do it. So I can be gone forever. Kill your one and only superstar. No. So you can't be near me right now. <laughs> I can't. Then leave. Huh? Leave the room. <laughs> I don't want to leave the room. You come closer. <laughs> Would you want more to not leave the room or to not destroy me? <laughs> my, my superstar, I need you more than anything. You're so unfair. <laughs> you did it. That's definitely, I like how there's different ways you can actually get him to leave. That actually makes me so happy. You got him out the room. I like that. Uh, okay, good thing I kept on exploring all the different options, guys. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go back to this. I automatically thought that I was going to be dead from going down the 
like lovers route. But no, I basically was like, oh, do you love me so much that you will try and save me from you? That's crazy. You really pulled the whole reverse Uno on him. Okay, let me say, instead of saying, why are you holding back? I'm gonna say, I'll go write you the story now. I'll prepare the typewriter and desk. My desk is too messy for you to write right now. Okay, cool. He throws the stuff, clogging his <laughs> desk to the side and makes room for you. <laughs> I'm so glad you agreed to write again. I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I'm gonna die of happiness. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not actually gonna die because I'll go to heck. I know that for killing all these people. And you'll go to heaven, so I'll never see you again. I hate thinking about death. I'll just never die. Dying is embarrassing. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Anyways, make sure the story is long and don't stop until you're done writing. You you always wrote your stories in one sitting. That's why you're so amazing. You have so much creativity, creative stamina. That's because they were never longer than two pages and yet they had so much substance. You truly are amazing. You truly are my superstar. I'll never see the word superstar again the same way. <laughs> you wrote your story between work breaks whenever you were bored. They never meant anything. Also, don't forget to make me the main character again because the stories where I'm the main character were always my favorite. You're, what? He really self-inserted. <laughs> what is he talking about? Does he actually think I wrote my stories about him? Remember, the love interest in your stories always had a name similar to Axe 404, which was Nick, was the same starting letter as N and also four little, what, really? You weren't subtle at all. <laughs> and it means a lot to me that you put me, your biggest fan, in your stories. He's completely Delulu. <laughs> then you even put me as your love interest. <laughs> Anyways, right. Uh, okay. I'll shut up now and just watch you. Watch you write. Write your... <laughs> you write a story with three pages about whatever BS comes to your mind at the moment. That's how you always wrote your stories. You understand me. You have, we have a connection. A bond that no one else has. You understand my obsession and my love. I... Did, didn't he say he'll shut up? <laughs> I don't want to lose that. I'm nothing without you. So even when you finish one story, start another and another and another and then another. And also make me the hero again. The love interest, of course. And also put yourself in the story. And then make me propose to you. And then you say yes. And then... <laughs> Got it! Excellent. Okay, I'll shut up. For real this time. <laughs> he stares at you while you write, unblinking. Then you think about it. You've never seen him blink a single time until now. <sighs> I have to tell you something. Gosh dang it, you said you'll stop talking! Something that might surprise you. What is it? This might come as a shock to you, but I'm, I'm in love with you. Wow, shocker, I have no idea. No, duh. You open your mouth and let out a fake gas. <gasps> Yes, <laughs> I love you and I can't live without you. You're my soulmates. You were meant to find each other. So yes, I love you. You might say I'm obsessed with you, which is definitely true, but love and obsession are two sides of the same coin or, or something like that. <laughs> you don't know what to say, so you just sit there awkwardly. It's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just keep on writing. I don't need much from you except to know that I'm the most important thing in your life. And you're already showing me that through your actions. I did? Yes, by putting me in your stories, indirectly mentioning me in your social media posts. Really, he's self-inserting everywhere, guys. Eating at places and watching movies that almost fits my taste. <laughs> almost fits my taste. Even now, that outfit you're wearing is exactly the sort of outfit I would love. All black? I can actually see that, even though he's just saying that for any outfit. But all black, I can see that. That can't be a coincidence. What a flattering thing to do, to wear that specific outfit because you knew I, your biggest fan, would like it so much. But I feel like you would like any outfit. I'll continue writing now. Yes, continue. That outfit suits you so. <sighs> Sorry, I'll shut up now. <laughs> you continue writing anxiously, trying to get this story done as soon as possible. Awesome. 
freaking day. Do you want the story or not? What is it? You could just use Nick again for the same as the love interest. I know I'm supposed to be Nick in any ways. Also, make him mysterious and tall and handsome like me, and then the main character, you, has to fall in love with me for no reason at all. You said this already! Also, <laughs> it has to be a long and dramatic story, not short like usual. I've been missing your stories for such a long time. A story of two pages just won't cut it, got it? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. He continues to stare at you like an unhinged maniac, intensifying your discomfort with each passing minute. Awesome. Don't tell me. Awesome. Can you read the entire story in a single long sitting and then I'll read it as soon as possible without you proofreading it or anything because I want the raw version. It's for my mental health. And can you make it extra long? I need it to be as long as possible. At least 100 pages long. I would like to be able to live inside it. Please, can you do that for me, my superstar? 100 pages? Yes, at least, at minimum. <laughs> it's for my mental health. Anything for his mental health. I am unwell. I know this might come as a shock to you since I seem like such a mysterious and handsome gentleman, but I am actually a bit unstable. Yes, I am so shocked. <laughs> I need this story. This story will make or break me. It will save me or it will destroy me. The only thing keeping me away from snapping completely is your writing. So I need you to try your hardest, okay? I, I mean, y you wouldn't want to send me over the edge, right? Uh, let's settle for 10 pages. No, he's gonna kill me for that. I'm gonna say it. 10 pages isn't enough. I need at least 100, but ideally a 10,000. But you can start with 100 for now because I'm a gentleman. I need it. I need it to live. I need to live inside your story for as long as possible, please. It's only 100 pages. Is that really too much to ask? Let me write in a, let me write in a hundred size font guys i i think i would be able to get it <laughs> da, da, da. yes but 10 is just a few minutes of reading you can't keep me from going insane which is a few minutes of your stories 100 pages please 100 pages minimum please i mean i need it i know i'm being pushy but i really 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 need it you deprived me of your storage for so long and I'm not bitter, and it's all, I swear. But I'm so close to the edge, please. Fix me, my superstar. Fix me with your stories. You can fix me, right? It's not over for me, right? I felt like your stories almost fixed me, and, and I'm sure they would have, if only you didn't s s stop r writing. Please, please. Man, I can't. I've never written that much before, and in one sitting, I can't. Maybe if you can wait for... Ah, uh, you have to. He grabbed you by the collar. You don't get to give me hope. Make me believe you can save me. Make me believe you can fix me. Only to disappear at the le last moment. It's not fair. Uh, uh, let me go. You try to punch and scratch at him in panic, but he easily counters you. Even when you do hit him, it doesn't seem to bother him at all. Your writings mean more to me than my life. But even so, I think I've been a bit too polite to you so far. You're my superstar, my reason for living. No doubt about that. But you're only human at the end of the day. And humans can be a real butt nugget at times. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is treat you like a butt nugget when you're acting like a butt nugget. Damn! Okay, now you're being entirely too rude right now. And guess what? Right now you're acting like a freaking butt nugget. From now on, you'll write however many pages I want. And you'll write exactly what I tell you to write. Is that clear? My superstar. Freak you! <laughs> you spit in his face. Oh, he probably liked that. Ah, I got it! <laughs> I'm so in love with you. Please fix me. Please. Heck no, you're broken re uh, beyond repair, butt nugget. Ugh. Ugh. You're just saying that to, to get under my skin. You are. The rage and adrenaline you're feeling right now makes you want to hurt him so badly. You're unfixable. The only thing that could fix you is a miracle. And like you said, I'm just a normal human who can't do miracles. Now get off of me or let go of me. You freaking... Ugh. Butt nugget! 
He grabs you by the throat. Ugh, freak you! <laughs> Even if I could fix you, I wouldn't want to. If anything, I'll want you to... I want to break you even more. If that's even possible, you butt nugget. <laughs> break me even more, you say? Yes. <laughs> Not if I break you first. Crack. You want to scream, but your voice fails you. The only thing coming out are pitiful, gurgling sounds. Crack. Snap. It hurts. Uh, I love you. I'm so sorry. I can't help myself. Snap! He's crying. Crack. I uh, I know. I know you're you're right that I can't be fixed. But 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 you made it possible for me to at least pretend there was hope for me. And and at some point, I'd actually I started to believe it to believe in myself that m maybe I could could be f f fixed. Crack, snap, you hear sobbing. Thud. Your body limp and mangled falls to the floor. He broke you. You're broken beyond repair now, just like him. Ending. Two broken people. I actually got another ending. I didn't think there was another ending. Oh my gosh. That was probably the darkest one yet. I feel bad for him. Am I being too nice, guys? I feel like I'm being too nice because he's literally a murderer. The worst type of person there is. I feel bad for him. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> and let's say, let's write the 100 pages. All right, I'll do it. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. I knew you'll do this for me. Oh, for your biggest fan. I'm so happy. So, 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 so happy. You turn to the typewriter, ignore his creepy staring and labored breathing. Your stories he's so obsessed with are nothing but random nonsense you came up with on the fly whenever you were bored. It's clear as he's Delulu. <laughs> you figured he'll just eat up whatever you write so you come up with something you can easily write 100 pages on of in one sitting. One day I was waiting for the bus. I got thirsty but to my horror I forgot my water at home. Oh no. But then a mysterious handsome man named Nick sensed my thirst and needed to quench it and offer me his water bottle. He fell in love and once the bus arrived, Nick went on one knee and proposed to me. I screamed in shock and joy and my scream went like this. He continued to press the A button repeatedly. You do this for a long time until you manage to fill up 100 pages. 99 of it are just filled with the scream of shock and joy. I bet he'll like that. I bet he likes it. I don't know why, but I feel like he'll like it. You get up from the desk. Gosh, your finger hurt. I'm done. <laughs> you, he immediately snatches the 100 pages from your hand, his gaze turning deranged and intense as he reads over them. He seems completely emerged as he reads. You feel nervous, highly doubting that one of your stupid stories will actually fix him or whatever his Delulu tells him is gonna happen. And then how will he react? What will he do to you? Yeah, da da dots, da da dots, and <gasps> so freaking beautiful. I knew he would love it. I knew he would like it. Ah! <laughs> Thank goodness, you, I'm glad. Is your best piece of art yet. I I'm speechless. Words can't possibly describe what I'm feeling, wh what the story means to me. So you're fixed now, or whatever it is you wanted? <laughs> no. Uh, sniff. But don't worry, it's okay. This already felt so, so amazing. And even though I'm not fixed, you've given me new hope for the future again. As expected for my superstar. Yay, so like, you're leaving your room now, right? <laughs> Will I? Come on, you ain't made a deal. Yes, we did. I'm just freaking with you. I'll see you outside. <laughs> you really are my superstar. Aw, you did it. Aww. <laughs> I love this. I love this game. Honestly, I love that there's so many different ways that you can like, you know, win. Lovely! I think I did everything. Okay, guys, so I think that should be all the different endings, and I think that's all the different paths, but if, the, if I miss anything, definitely check it out on itch.io. 
it's free to play it's free to download i think there's also like an android version if you don't have a computer this is honestly such a cool game i like the dialogue it's so funny and like so interesting i can't wait to see what other residents is going to be in the hotel we saw on clown and angel and a knight so i wonder what their design's gonna look like hopefully they look good as like the fan I'm not gonna lie, the muscles. But, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, definitely let me know what you guys thought about this. But as for now, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.